there isn't any real structure behind my art. Every action that goes into the creation of a piece takes life through to what I feel in that precise moment. That's how I work with the wire. The three-dimensional shapes are created without using any support but by changing the direction of the wire as I weave it. I just let my hands follow imaginary curves. My studies in architecture and exhibition design helped me a lot to understand the technical and the structural characteristics of different materials and how you can make those materials work. It's a strong connection between a human being, his bare hands and the material that eventually gives life to something new. Brass and steel wires are very flexible materials. I normally tend to decide the direction I want the wire to take, but sometimes, like an impulsive action, it's the wire itself that drives me. It's some kind of a duo, really. A dance, almost. The wire goes where I want it to go, and sometimes I just have to follow it and find out where it takes me. If a stitch is not that wrong, I can't fix it anymore. I think that in this case a mistake becomes an unpredicted action that contributes to the final look of the piece. Working on 3D pieces, I came across the concept of transparency and I mixed it with the concept of volume. I was working on my first mask and I had to check how it was coming along, so I wore it in front of a mirror. I realized I could have reproduced any kind of object I wanted to. That's when I thought of the concept of wearable art. Masks normally cover someone's face to create a new person, a new identity. My masks are different. Because of how they are made and the material used, you can still see the real face of the person wearing it. They create a dual character. You are simultaneously someone else and yourself. Look at this tea set. It's part of a collection called a container. And it's inspired from the Dadaist works of Duchamp and, and Murray. They take a common object and alter it, twisting its function. That's what I do with my pieces. <laughs> You can use this teacup, it's still a teacup, but it has no function anymore. It happened four years ago. I was sorting out some stuff in my room and I found this 3D model I made during university. It was a lamp built in scale with weaved wire. 
they were somewhere left in the box. So using the same technique I had used years earlier for the small lamp, I made a bow tie. And after that, plenty of other pieces came along necklaces, bracelets, earrings, and so on. Even a 24 inch long pineapple. That's when I realized I wanted that to be my job. Somehow, my life. I always saw dance as an art that strongly relates to my own. I think of it as an extension of my own work, as if the movements of my hands connect and complete within those of the dancers. I believe it integrates into the esoteric world through this concept. Sculptures that are not solid, masks that don't cover. My pieces represent absence, yet you can see them. It's not easy to extrapolate an immediate meaning out of it. Some people may think it doesn't have one. You have to compromise logic and access a world with totally different rules. It's a contradiction and it's not easy to accept which is probably why it stays away from the mainstream art. I've been questioned several times about it. Is this really art? I never know how to answer because I never ask myself that question. It's so clear to me. The final shape of every piece is just the fruit of some sort of schizophrenic relationship with the wire. The way to understand it is to find a new meaning for a new interpretation every time, a new key, then it may start making sense, or maybe not. <laughs>